We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Preak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to start up our coverage of Chained Echoes. I've had this for a while. Uh, I reached out a long time ago, and I don't think I ever heard back. Uh, this was on my radar for quite a bit. I ended up, I think, picking it up on like a winter sale or something. On Steam. Anyway, I've had it for a little while and never got around to playing it or actually, you know, diving in and checking it out. So, I'd wanted to for a very long time. We're going to actually start that today. So, it is Chained Echoes by Matthias Linda, Deck 13 and Whisper Games, released on December 8th, 2022. I think I got it last year, maybe, on one of the big Steam sales. So, all right, let us begin. Wake up. It's time to get up, Glenn. Look how lovely the sun is shining. No, I'm sorry. Um, uh, it's it's still so early. Oh, come on, get dressed quickly. Your friends may come any minute. Oh, uh, yeah. You've received a new quest. Wow, we move pretty quick. The coast is already in sight, so stop sleeping, huh? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm already. It's gonna get wild soon, so get your butt up, M mom. I said, wake the hell up. Ow! It's Eddie Imbrano, Marion the cough or something. Sorry. Do you believe this? We're on a suicide mission and he's taking a nap. No, actually, I haven't slept for days because of this mission. I just... I don't care, boy. Get up and move your sorry butt the captain, uh, to the captain on the bridge. Well. Why is this moving? Why are they all moving? Everything moves! This one's shiny. I could grab myself a snack. Yeah. Hello, I would like to take a nap or steal some money. One of those two things is true. I have to stay on the uh, Sternerit. Sternen, Sternenrit today because I'm sick. I wanted to join the battle, but Killian talked me out of it. Talk to the bridge commander on the bridge. This uh, mission is total suicide. We're supposed to break through the enemy lines as a vanguard. I'm scared, Glenn. What if I'm outnumbered on the battlefield? Oh, would I be a coward to run away? I would run away too, to be honest. Maybe you can take down one or two. Oh dear. I hope I can find the courage to do so. Yeah, you gotta find the courage and the Dewey Decimal System. What? <sighs> you look pale, Glenn. A boy with your talent shouldn't always look so worried. This is true. What's up, Captain? If I die, it's not the Captain. If I die, my family in Valeria will get the money. They're waiting for it eagerly. For the money, of course, not for my death. Yeah, I've heard it both ways, man. If it isn't Glenn! Excited, aren't you? Maybe a little. Relax. You just keep the sky above our heads clear and we'll take care of the enemy on the ground. We're a team. Together, no one stands a chance against the band of the Iron Bull. You're right. Luck has been with us for years. And as long as I have this lucky charm here. Whoops. You, you dropped it. it. It's broken. Uh. Dad, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> it isn't a bad omen or anything like that. <laughs> well, that's not good. Hey, what are you guys doing over there? Oh. Oh. No, I wasn't ready for this yet. All men in battle positions. This vanguard will not sink into the ocean. Yah, 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 yah. Ah, Glenn, are you pilot at last? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Too late for apologies. We're reaching the coast soon. Glenn, Gillian, you take the sky armors and go ahead. We'll follow you. Yes, sir. Our goal is the Opus Stone. It feeds the Ether Cannons with energy. We smash that thing and clear the way for the rearguard, understood? Yes, sir. 
Hardy, har, har. Our client doesn't think we'll survive this. Lured by the promise to pour gold around our families after our deaths, we took the jab anyway. We will show them that we can survive as long as we... No, uh, we will not let our families spend our pay all alone, right? To the band of the Iron Bull! To the band of the Iron Bull! Nope. What? So soon? The cannon shouldn't reach us yet. Cursed tar Tarnians! Tar tar Tarinians? Tarinians? Tarinians. That's what we're going to go with. And their darned technology! Let's go! Are you ready, partner? I think so. Oh, yeah! He d they did the thing. They did the hand clap thing. Oh. So, Killian, do you believe we can see... By the way, just to, I know people are going to get upset because I didn't talk to everyone. I did not intend to advance the storyline. I thought maybe the dude in the bottom right was the, the person that I needed to talk to. And then I saw the boys on the other side, and I was like, oh, I should go talk to them, because clearly they're not going to be near the captain. They were, and then it auto-triggered the cutscene. Had I seen the captain or knew that was going to happen, I would have backed out and talked to the rest of the people. So I am sorry. All right. You believe we can succeed? What are you talking about? Of course we can. Are you getting nervous? No, I mean, well, maybe a little. Don't worry about it. We'll go in, smash the opal stone, and get out. The rear guard will handle the rest. Yeah, sounds easy. Normally, we would have to work three years for so much money. What will you do with all of it? I'm not sure. I have a wish, but the money probably won't be enough. Oh, come on, tell me. Well, I always wanted to have my own sky armor. Well, that's nice. What would you do with it? Surely it's not simply for taking walks on a nice day, right? Oh, I don't know. I would probably do the same as before. Sky armors exist for battle, after all. I could tune it up and work on it on my own, though. Eh. You could be anywhere in the world, and yet you choose the battlefield. Mm. There's nothing else in my life since you have rescued me, or since you rescued me back then. This mercenary band is all I have. You, however, have a family and a home. What would you do with all the money? Uh, you know that I'm not here for the money. I would choose the battlefield as well. There's still a long way ahead until I reach my dream. <laughs> it looks like we'll have to put up with each other for at least a little while longer. Now, well, if we survive this... Ah, we go wrong with our ace pilot, right? Alright, you two. Enough romantic talk. You're ready to go. Godspeed, Glenn. Let's get our sky armor on. Watch out, Glenn. The enemy is sending their own sky armors our way. How about a demonstration of your skills, Glenn? I bet you can take them down on your own. Wh what? Battles are turn-based, as all battles should be. You and your enemies take... That's, that's not true, but in general, I do prefer turn-based. You and your enemies take turns choosing actions. The order of each turn is displayed in the top right corner. HP represents your health. If it reaches zero, death or incapacitation. Tech points are resources used for skills. HP and TP are restored completely after each and every battle. The icon next to the skill indicates the type of skill. Okay. Defeating enemies in battle grants you access to different spoils, loot that can be sold for money, or to unlock new deals. Materials that can be used to upgrade weapons. Or in skill points used to upgrade skills. Defeating an enemy will show your loot immediately, but you will not receive it until after the battle. Oh, okay. Well, hello there, sir. Gear 1. We have Pinsa and Poison Salvo. A single physical blow dealing 2.2 times damage. One flicks poison for five turns. I don't know how strong this thing is, so I'm just going to hit him with the stuff. Poison Salvo. Got him with it. How he shot me back. I didn't appreciate that at all. Here we go. Get got, son. I guess we pierce something. Oh, he's almost dead. Let's just attack him basic styles with the Z. Ha! That with the poison, you done got got. All right, we got five SP gained. Heh, there's no challenge for our ace pilot. You shouldn't fool around, Killian. Well then, get ready. Here comes a new challenger. Ingaje.
It's pretty much par for the course. Basically exactly what we did last time. I feel like I, that felt like it hit harder. I, I don't think it actually did, but it certainly felt like it. There we go, 635, 628, and another sweet, sweet victory. Our SP gains are real. That's it, Glenn. Now, onto the Opus Stone. Oh. Whoa. Look out for their cannons. Uh-oh. Dabit. Killian! Oh, we also got hit. Why are we so bad at dodging things? Are you alright? Of course not. The Sky Armors were our best chance to reach the Opus Stone. As long as we still have legs to walk and arms to wield a sword, we will not give up. It's about time you get to know the battlefield outside of your Sky Armor. You've had enough training. If you're on land, you follow me, understood? Y yes. We will fight our way to the Opus Stone on foot. Once the stone is shattered, we can wait for the rear guard. But I had a cool giant mech suit. I, w I want giant mech suit back. No. We, we're supposed to be an ace pilot. We are a terrible pilot. Ignore the battlefield, Glenn. There's stuff. Look for a way to climb up. Figured it out. There's stuff out there, man. You know how much we always wanted stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Don't worry, I have a helping hand. That's fine. Bam! Ow. Cross slash! Wide swing! Ah. I know, it, it would have hit two. It's fine. Cross, you did. There's a lot going on. Is there a reason to come down here? It was. We got some schwitz. Some schwitz, schwitz, schwitz stuff, yes. It's so schwit. Oh, oh, we got the big boy. Alright, we'll hit him with the armor break then. Don't, don't defense buff immediately after I do that. Come on now. Come on, son. All right. I'll armor break you again. Extended. All are healed. You dare challenge me, sir. I shall strike thee. With a multitude of uh, very powerful attacks, yes. Alright, this should basically put him into finish him mode. And I'm here for it. Bam! Yeah. You know, I, I'm of two minds. I don't... It's, it's hard to explain this. Alright, so... I, I obviously I grew up back back in the back in the day back when I was a teenager. No, um, anyway, I grew up back when video games are new and fresh and exciting, uh, which they all still are. There's tons of it, but like the birth of video games, right? I was around for for that stuff, or at least very nearly there. Um, anyway, regardless, played a lot of old school JRPGs, RPGs, and so on and so forth. And one of the things that was more or less consistent throughout was that, you know, you had limited resources, you went out, you fought, you did stuff, rah, 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 uh, as you got more and more hurt, you would have to use magic, you would heal, once you ran out of magic, you may use some items to heal, once you ran out of items, you went back to town to rest and get all your stuff back. That was, that was the way it worked. So, you started with 100 hit points, you took 3 damage, you had 97. You take 3 damage over 10 turns, you're down to 70. So, you know... Uh, bit by bit, you get t more and more tired, more and more exhausted. That's how I always kind of envisioned it to make sense. Is that like we're just getting more and more exhausted and we have to go and we have to rest before we're able to go back out and continue and do more stuff. So, that is what I'm used to. And that has been kind of a norm for the better part of like 30 to 40 years. However, more recently, 
Uh, they have adapted, moved, and changed over, not all of them, some still have the old school method, to this uh, newer method of you have all resources available to you, every fight, good luck. Uh, once you're done with the fight, you're fully back to full strength. It's a cool idea, it's a cool concept, I do like it, and it is enjoyable. Also helps push the pace forward, and stops you from having to do a lot of needless backtracking and coming back and forth and so on and so forth. Like I said, it's a good thing, but it is still weird. I'm just curious, which one do you prefer, dear viewer? Do you have a preference? Do you prefer to always be at full capacity every single fight? And not have like a, a long running health bar that you have to keep track of and so on and so forth? Or do you prefer the old school method where you have limited resources, finite energy and spells and all the stuff that you can do, and then eventually you will have to go to a town, whether it's a new one that you find or go back to one that you already know, and rest to get all that stuff back. I'm just curious. I, I, I don't know which one I prefer. It really depends on the game, and I think this might be the same for a lot of people. It really depends on the game. Like I don't think a game like this where we're kind of driven a lot more forward in the story would do well with you having very limited, uh, like having to go back and heal and rest and stuff. I think this works very well for this game. Oh. It's the Sternerit something something, no way. Focus on your task, I bet the others escaped in time. Oh, is it going down? I also would not have had auto-advancing text there. There are a lot of options in this game. Maybe I'll check to see if turning off auto-advancing text is one of them. I did. I mean, at least it gives us a little timer window for how long it's going to take, but I did not like that. I never do. I never like auto-advancing text. Okay, I can't read the note on the table. Ah, you're back. Figured I would just try cross slash. Oops. 30. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do armor break. And how much is this gonna work? 50, but we crit, so that I don't really know what that means. Cross slash again. The armor break doesn't seem to be that useful, honestly. Or defense break, I should say. 33. So there's a 3 more damage. I guess that's pretty good. It's like a 10% increase in damage. We're grabbing ourselves a lot of snacks. Yeah. Hello, sir. Glenn. Don't talk. His wounds look bad. After I was hurled from the stern sternenrit, I found myself in between the enemy lines. As you said, I, I'm not. I tried not to flee, and tried to defeat as many of them as possible. <laughs> At least I'm not dying a coward's death. He's gone. Well, maybe you shouldn't have listened to me. You might be alive right now. I do feel a little bit bad. I mean, what do I know? I'm just some rookie pilot, or some ace pilot rookie. I don't, I don't know. Watch out, Glenn. Whoa. What the heck was that? That was close. More of them. Get ready. There are too many. No, there aren't. We got this. Need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Capitan and friends. Commander. Let's show them the power of the Iron Bull's mightiest team up. The overdrive bar is the core of the battle system. The bar has three areas, yellow, green, and red, representing the state of the party. The cursor shows the current position of the bar. Almost every action moves the cursor to the right. The one the small cursor shows where the cursor will jump to... Okay. Yep. Upon reaching the green area, the party is warmed up and is in perfect synergy. This is called overdrive. In Overdrive, the party takes less damage, deals more damage, and, most importantly, only needs to spend about half of the amount of TP on skills. Always try to stay in Overdrive. Eventually, the party will reach the red area and become overheated. This will let the enemy deal massive damage to you. 
In order to stay in overdrive, the cursor must be moved back to the left. This can be done with one of the following actions. Ways of lowering the overdrive bar. While in overdrive or overheat, an icon will appear in the box left of the bar. This icon represents a skill type. The number next to it shows how many turns the party has before the skill type switches. Using a corresponding skill will make the cursor jump to the left by a great margin. Skills on the corresponding type are also marked yellow. Switching out characters in battle, more details later. Use the defend action. Use an ultra move, more details later. Actions move the party's position on the overdrive bar. Try to reach and stay in the green area. Overdrive effects, damage dealt is increased, damage received is lowered, and skills cost half HP. Overheat effects, red area of the bar raises the damage received, stay out. Use different options to make the cursor move back to the left. That does sound interesting. All right, if we use Fire Burst, and we, well, it increases the skill. Oh, uh. To one. All right, we're going to buff up. All are buffed. The mind and the defense buff. You fool. Water Prison. This does damage to everybody. We're going to hit them with it. Everybody gets slapped by the droplets of water, yeah. We're in overdrive. We're in maximum overdrive. Alright, I'm gonna go for the frontline guy. Very nice. Ow. And we're gonna go for the wide swing. That puts... Oh. Okay, that's not what I thought it was gonna do. My apple shies. Fire burst. Motivating words. We're gonna fire burst on you. That was a tremendous amount of HP. Alright, I'm gonna break the guy in the back. We're gonna water prison him up again. Everybody, chill. Oh, we didn't kill that one guy? Hmm. Alright, throwing a heal on our shark guy. Captain of the shark NATO himself. Uh oh, we're in overheat. Uh, okay, how does one. Okay, I'm gonna give him a snack. He's a hungry boy. We hit him with water prison again. I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily the best plan. Hmm. Alright, we're back in overdrive. We immediately got overheated as we got attacked. All right, fire burst will move it down. Okay. All right, we're gonna just look at attack. Nothing happened, nothing there. Then water prison will also help. I'm gonna hit him with that. It's gonna take out two of them at least, right? Maybe just one, I think two, yeah. All right, helping hand on to our Sharknado. Fire burst on to this guy. And now all we have left is old Sharknado himself. All right, we take increased damage, but I don't know that we necessarily take, uh, I don't, let's just hit him. Uh, I don't know that we uh, deal less damage or anything like that. I think this is probably still fine. All right, big hit from the big humdinger. And with the cross slash up, we said good day, sir. We did. 
So you live. Barely. Fools, the sky armors were our biggest hope to end all of this quickly. We didn't stand a chance. They call you an ace pilot, and yet you can't even... Shut up, both of you. Save your strength. The stone is near. We will fight the remaining foes on foot. For what? Huh. That sky armor again. This is bad. No choice but to fight it now. Don't worry, Commander. Guys. We will deal with it. You go and destroy the stone. Stay alive, you hear me? Of course. Ah! <clears throat> they definitely didn't stay alive. So, the enemy has reached the stone. I'm sorry, my lord, but the casualties were... Spare me the details. Everything is going according to plan. Time for the final act. Time for your final breath. The Opus Stone, once it is destroyed, the ether cannons are out of fuel. Is that true, though? Oh, look who it is. It's Wyoyum. Your assault ends here, friends. It's that sky armor again. That means the others are... I remember that sky armor now. That's Waiwayan. Waiwayan. A famous do do doppel soldier. Sol soldner. Excuse me. Is that like the uber soldat? No? And I know of you as well, band of the Iron Bull. What madness has befallen you to take such a mission? What did Gravos lure you with? With gold they do not possess? Do you even realize what you're dealing with? We need to get past him, then smash the stone. Not if I smash you with skulls first, you fools! Ow! That was my face. Kinda didn't need that to be hit. All are motivated! Ha! I feel like we're probably not gonna do a lot of damage. All right, well, we'll hit him with some poison. Maximum overdrive. All right, I will smack him with this. Break his defense. Let him eat some poison. And then we want to stay fire bursty. Yeah, very nice. All right, we shall attack. Do it, yes. I mean, the water prison seems bad. All right, we're just gonna hit him with a basic attack. I, I guess cross slash. Some decent damage numbers coming out. We don't get to see the boss's health bar, huh? Oh, well, that was inconvenient, to be sure. All right, we're going to heal up Glenn. We're going to hit him with some poison smash again. Make sure he's always be poisoned and poisoned and going to armor break once more. I would have to assume he's probably relatively close to going down, but I, I don't know for certain. We still got two turns left on our buff. Alright, big hit. Hit him with a cross slash. I mean, I guess we just hit him. Bonk. All right, we'll hit him with fire burst. Oh, you decided to defense him. Okay. Well, your defense buff is going to get hit with a defense debuff. What? All 
my heel. Da, da, da. All right, we'll defend with you. Attack with you. That didn't do a lot. Overheat. Yeah, yeah. I I know. I've heard it all before. Well, I suppose. We crit him. He's down on his knee. We did it. The grimoire a shard has been obtained or gained. Now for the opus stone. Oh. Commander Kylian. Opus stone? What have they told you? Glenn, smash it. Stop, boy. That is no opus stone. It's not fueling anything. Don't listen to him. Go. Yeah, maybe we should, uh, stop. Uh-oh. Fools! The Grimoire! The Grim what now? Uh, what is this light? It's very bright. Oh, this is weird. Is time going backwards, or... Nope, just bad stuff is happening. Oh, well. That seems ungood. But wait, who this? Chain deck. We did it. We beat the game. Well, there you go, guys and gals. I beat it, so you didn't have to. It was tough. It's pretty tough. A beginning. Finish the prologue. Uh, Valandis, a continent with a proud history of over 3,000 years. Once it was home to a magical city of Nysa. Nysa! Sorry. Uh, the center of magical teachings. But since its downfall, Valandis has been consumed by war. For six generations, three kingdoms have been battling for domination. In the north, the kingdom of everlasting rain. Tehran. The greatest harbor in all of uh, Valandis, Farnsport, and its kingdom. Uh, Eskenya? To the south. Finally, in the east, the proud nation of Gravos. Whee! In 806 of the 7th era, Aaron conquered Gravos. Smack! A few days later, during an attempt to reconquer lost territory, the greatest accident of the war occurred. A powerful explosion engulfed the eastern part of the continent. Tens of thousands of people died. The weapon that could cause such destruction remained unknown. Since none of the three kingdoms admitted to, possession, uh, to possessing or having possession of such a weapon, Fear finally drove the rulers to sign a peace treaty. This ended the war after 156 years. In 807, one year after the signing of the treaty, a celebration was held in Farnsport to mark the anniversary. There he is, Rob. I was not mistaken. Look for yourself. Sitting right in the tree, close to Lady Parnella's route. I do see him, but maybe he just wants to get a good look at the parade. He wouldn't need a sword for that. Also, they are forbidden during the festivities. Are you sure that is a sword? I, I can hardly recognize it. Rob, as exemplary members of the City Watch, it is our most urgent task to pursue this. We we're supposed to guard the castle today, Princess. Her true identity is Princess Celestia of Alkyria of Terran, sister to Prince Frederick. Shortly before the end of the war, she fled the castle to see more of the world as well as her people's struggles, worries, and hopes in order to become a better princess to them. After a chain of events, 
she ended up as a guard of the city watch for Tehran's enemy's kingdom. Rob, don't call me that. Ah, uh, forgive me, you're... Rob? S sorry. Lean? Len? Lenny? Leany? Heir to the house of uh, Rymir... Rearmeyer? I don't know. Rob grew up as a ward to the castle of Tormund, together with Lenny, 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 I don't know. Uh, once he learned that she planned to flee the castle, he insisted on tagging along. Her well-being is his highest priority. <sighs> it is a miracle that we have not been discovered. Anyone finds out who I am. <sighs> anyway, let's make haste toward the west gate. Anon! Um, I mean, let's, um, hurry? Yes, let's hurry to the west gate. After defeating bosses or finishing special tasks, your party will gain Grimoire Shards. GS, owning a Grimoire Shard is similar to a level up. You can use it to strengthen your characters. Gaining one Grimoire Shard allows all party members to make use of it. Oh, nice. In the Learn Skill menu, three types of skills can be learned. Active, sorry, Action, Passive, and Stat. Action skills can be used in battle by selecting and spending TP. Passes are automatically active in battle, and stat boost raises a single stat of a character. While stat boosts are automatically added to your character's attributes and are permanently active, action and passive skills need to be equipped. This can be done in the set skills menu. You can use SP skill points to set skill to in the set skill menu to level up your action and passive skills. By defeating enemies, you can receive SP. Every skill a character has currently equipped will gain SP. Additionally, every character will accumulate SP that is placed into their own private pool, where you may distribute freely to whatever skill available for that specific character. Cool. Receive new quest, finish quest. Check the armed person in the front of the city gate. All right. We can save, it looks like, right here. So, perfect. This is going to be where I break it off. I was planning to anyway, so this is a great breaking spot. Uh, yeah, so we kind of broke stuff. Glenn seems to have done a not-so-good thing. We'll see what all that means in the future. All right, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff down below in the description of the video. There'll be various links, just like there always are. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.